here we have two cos functions in discrete time, uh, cos of pi n on 2 and cos of 3 pi n on 2. And this one is at a higher frequency, 3 pi on 2 is omega naught compared to pi on 2. We're going to plot these and think about what frequency means in discrete time for discrete time signals. So to help us plot them, let's first of all plot the cos function. So if I plot just simply cos of theta, and this is theta, and the cos waveform looks like this. And we'll just put the values on. This is 2 pi, this is 4 pi, this is pi and 3 pi. So let's use this to help us plot xn. So we'll plot xn here and xn as n. Now it only exists, it's discrete time, square brackets, it only exists for integer values of n. So let's try n equals 0. So if n equals 0, we've got cos of 0. We look here, cos of 0 is this height here. So at n equals 0, we've got 1. So what about if n equals 1? So n equals 1, we've got cos of pi on 2. We look at our graph, cos of pi on 2, that's pi, cos of pi on 2 equals 0. What about n equals 2? So if n equals 2, we've got cos of pi, n divided by 2, 2 divided by 2. So we've got cos of pi, we look over here, cos of pi minus 1. And we keep doing this, n equals 3, with 3 pi on 2. So 3 pi on 2 is here, that's another 0. Uh, n equals 4, and we're back repeating ourselves. n equals 4, we've got cos of 2 pi, and we've got this waveform, and so this just repeats. 0, minus 1, 0, 1, as we go up of n. Okay, so let's do the same thing for plotting cos of 3 pi n on 2. So I'm just going to plot this out again, just to help us again. So this is theta, this is cos of theta, and we're going to plot x of n in this case, as n increases. Now let's do n equals 0, same thing. So n equals 0, we get plus 1. What about n equals 1? n equals 1, we've got cos of 3 pi on 2. Where's cos of 3 pi on 2? This is cos of pi, and so this is cos of 3 pi on 2, and that's 0. So what about at 2? So for n equals 2, we've got cos of 3 pi. Where's cos of 3 pi? This is 2 pi, this is 3 pi, so it's there, that value, minus 1. What about n equals 3? n equals 3, we've got cos of 9 pi on 2, and cos of 9 pi on 2 is here, and this is equal to 0. Uh, 4, we have cos of 12 pi on 2, which is cos of 6 pi, so what's cos of 6 pi? Uh, cos of 6 pi is up here. Cos of 6 pi is plus 1, and it repeats. Okay, so what do we notice here? Even though this is stretched out, it's a higher value of omega naught, we're going further through the waveform with each sample because the waveform is at a higher frequency. It, it changes more quickly compared to our sampling rate, but we get the same graph in discrete time. So this graph is the same as this graph. And this is because in discrete time, because of this fact here, that these two waveforms go through the same points at the sampling rate, even though they are different frequencies, we can clearly see that the basis functions repeat in discrete time, which means the frequency is a, in the frequency plot it's periodic because this waveform here, this discrete time waveform, is the same as this discrete time waveform even though it's a different frequency signal in the analogue.